Hi, today we're going to be doing the um, the auto layout lab and essentially we're going to try to be building this calculator uh, looking app um, and it should work regardless of the size of the uh, device whether it may be an 8 or an 8 plus or a 10 or whatever. Okay, so if I pull this picture up, um, the first thing that I want you to think of is this top part and this bottom part. This is about let's say two thirds and this is about a third of the size of the whole iPhone. So the first thing that we want to do here is to get this done is to um, create a stack view. And we're going to go ahead and filter for stack view. And um, we're going to go ahead and uh, do the vertical stack view. And we're going to put some constraint on the stack view to fill the whole area of the phone. So we're going to say 0, 0, 0, 0. That way, when we add these four constraints, the stack view takes over the whole uh, screen except the very top, which is reserved um, because it's not a safe area. It's reserved for the uh, battery and date and whatnot. Okay, now that we've done this big stack view, I'm going to go ahead and drag two regular views. And uh, this is what's going to happen with these um, let's type in UI view. Um, with these views here, what we're going to do is one is going to take the bottom third, the other is going to take the um, uh, the two thirds. Okay, so we've got two views right here. And what we're going to do is we're going to tell this bottom view to have equal height to the actual stack view. But we're going to go in, yeah, we're in the bottom here. We're going to go in the inspector here. And we don't want it to be f uh, the same height. We actually want it to be two thirds the height. So we're going to go here. I'm going to double click on this. And under multiplier, I'm going to type in 0 0.66, which is, of course, two thirds. Um, so if we just look at this now, we've got a view here that takes about two thirds and a view here that takes about a third. And this is where all our buttons are going to be. And this is where the label is going to be. Perfect. So the next thing that we're going to do now is we're going to add a label. And we're going to put the label in this view right here. And we're going to change the font. We're going to make it obviously bigger. Let's go ahead and make that 30. And um, we're going to put some constraints here. Uh, we're going to do 8 and 8. We're going to add two constraints and our labels right here. So as you could tell, this is already coming along bit by bit. OK, great. OK, so now that we've got sort of the top third uh, done, let's start with the bottom two thirds. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a we're going to add a vertical stack view here to the bottom view and we're going to set some constraints and we want to fill this vertical stack view uh, to fill essentially the whole two thirds. So I'm going to add constraints here that essentially will make it fill the whole bottom view. So this is my bottom view and the stack view essentially fills the whole thing. Uh, now I'm going to select the stack view. I'm going to go to the attribute. I'm going to do a few changes here. The first change is, is under distribution. I'm going to say um, fill um, uh, equally um, so that the bars will be filled equally eventually. Uh, and the other thing I'm going to be doing here is I'm going to be changing the spacing to one. And the spacing to one will give you the effect of these white lines in between. OK, so that's what that is. OK, perfect. OK, next up, now we're going to add a horizontal stack view. Horizontal stack view to the vertical stack view. So we're going to go ahead and drag it and make sure that it's under not like this, but rather it's under it in right here. So it's this um, um, uh, horizontal stack view is under the vertical stack view. Great. And um, what we're going to do here is we're going to do uh, actually pretty much the same thing. We're going to select this. We're going to go to spacing and we're going to add one. So it'll give us that uh, white line, um, white line. And uh, under distribution, we're going to say fill equally as well. Perfect. So now what we're going to do is we're going to add a UI button to the um, horizontal stack view right there. And um, 
we're gonna do a few changes here with the button so i'm gonna select the button under uh, um, text we're gonna go ahead and maybe choose black and background we're gonna go with gray perfect okay now that we have the button um we have one button select uh, uh created what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit command c and we're gonna paste this four uh three more times to give us four um so now that we've got four buttons um what we want to do is and if you remember the picture here so now you can kind of see what we're doing here um this whole um column is going to be red so what i'm going to do here is i'm going to click on this uh, button and i'm going to go back here and for the background color i'm going to go ahead and change it to red so things are coming along perfect okay the next step that we have to do here is uh, select the actual whole horizontal uh, stack view, which is this thing right here, command C and paste it four more times to give us a um, um, a five by four grid. So this is sort of uh, looking like the final product already. Uh, we have to make a few changes, but um, things are coming along. Okay, since the bottom since the bottom row here only uses three buttons and we've got four, we're going to have to make a few changes. So let's look at this. We're going to select the bottom stack here. And instead of fill uh, equally, we're going to change it to fill proportionally. Okay. And we're going to delete one of the gray buttons. Okay. And now we have um, only two gray buttons and one red, except there's a problem here. This is a bit bigger. So how do you do this? Well, here's what we need to do we need to control drag here and say um equal widths and control drag from here to here and say equal widths as, as well except when we go in here and we go into the size inspector find the constraint we're gonna uh, make the multiplier two and what that would what what that's gonna make is we're get, it's gonna make this button proportionally twice as big as this button so if we come over here you'll see that this um, this looks about right. Perfect. And quite honestly, we're about done here. This is pretty much identical to the final product minus the actual, obviously, name of the buttons, but we know how to do that. Just go in and change every button to, you know, the plus or minus or the, you know, numbers um, um, that you want the buttons to be. And obviously change the colors, the background color of these three buttons to a darker gray. But aside from that, we're done. And to test it out here, we build this on the eight. So if we go ahead and uh, build on the, let's say eight plus, it should look perfect. So let the thing build. And when we open the simulator, It should look perfect, right? Even though we build it on the eight. And same thing here, if we do on the 10, if we build this on the 10, it should have the same perfect build. It should still look perfect. Even though we build this on the eight, when we um, finally simulate on any um, screen size, it will be perfect. In fact, I could even go ahead and simulate on the iPad and it should look perfect nevertheless. Again, perfect. And I'm just gonna try one last one. I'm gonna go with the iPad 10.5 inch, for example. And if we build this, it should still look perfect. Okay, awesome. Thanks for watching.